Okay, in this video, I'm gonna show how I remove my cowling by myself. And I'll make a second video on how I reinstall the cowling. I'm at an airport, so there will be planes taking off, causing some noise. So before I start, I make sure I have a place to put the hardware that I remove. I'll need two 3 8 inch wrenches. That's for the flaps and the nose gear. I'll need a short Phillip and a straight blade uh, screwdriver for the cowling screws. First thing I do is turn the prop vertical. I always turn it counter or clockwise, the opposite direction when it's running. So if the mag, the mag won't flip over and the impulse coupling won't cause something to start. So I start by taking out all the screws up by the cowling. I'm sorry, all the screws up by the nose. There's four machine screws around the nose pole. And then this one's a machine screw on the outside and then there's one uh, sheet metal screw there. Okay, that's all the removable hardware. I'll move these wrenches out of the way. Now I've got to go through and loose all, loosen all the South Coast fasteners. They're quarter turn. I like to remove up one past here, and then I'll. Go ahead and pop this side loose. So I, I'll show you what I did on the other side here. One that's, there we go. Okay, so on the other side, what I did is I just lifted it up like this, so they're unhooked. So now, I don't have to go back to the other side to lift the cowling. Just lifts up like that. So that's the upper cowling. Now, you have to disconnect the landing light. There's usually, hopefully, a quick, connect, quick disconnect at the firewall. Then you have to remove the bolts that are holding in the cow flaps. So I use a ratcheting box wrench, it goes a little faster. Put the nut back on the bolt. Put it in here. Okay, now I'll need to turn the prop horizontal. Again, turning opposite direction of when it's running, which is clockwise, as you look from the front. And now I need to remove the, the bolt from the nose gear door. Okay, that's 
this out. Again, put the nut on the bolt so you don't lose it. And there's one more cow flap to do. Okay, the two cow flaps are undone. Those gear tours undone. You don't need these screws anymore. Wipe my hands off a little here so I don't mark. Get the cowling full of grease. So now you have to undo the Southco fasteners around. So around here, there's one, two, three, four. One way under here by the your door, rear nose gear door. Pop those loose a little bit. This side. One, two, Okay, now they're all loose. I kind of hold my hand on it in case it all of a sudden pops off. Now, come off like that. That's if you don't have a, uh, what's it called, power flow exhaust system. A little more involved if you do that. There you have it, cowling removed. What was that, six, eight minutes? Shouldn't take very long.